What is a random person on the internet? RTG here, back with some more humankind. And this week, we aim to vassalize Spiff. Last week, we made some strides. We got two of his cities, nuked a third. And we are quickly approaching the rest cities that he has on the continent. Um, these two in the north should be relatively quick to take fairly small they don't have much in terms of resources but we are trying to hit um i think it was 440 it was maybe a little it was maybe a bit more yeah 440 to vassalize we are currently at 412 uh, I still fully don't understand reading this because this basic is this is basically saying we would need 550 based on the amount of stuff we selected some of the stuff we selected are these demands that are par for the course it was but a trifle please uh in terms of city management we could use up most of our saved up influence and absorb these two cities we could wait a turn and absorb them into sidon which might be the better pick It is going to be suffering a bit in terms of stability, but that can be rectified potentially. <clears throat> okay, but outside of that, um, we have st we have stocks in the Ru the Soviet rebels can safely contribute like safely pick some pick up something here um contracts they don't have units we could be trading resources which might not be a bad idea because we could pick up incense iron horses you know what i don't think we've necessarily had why can't we do it now okay the treaty doesn't allow for it so contracts trade resources stock of weapons stock of incense full stack of iron full stack of copper and full stack forces that dipped into our funds a bit but it is more weapons is one more luxury in incense was it incense I where oh yeah it was incense so we could mm, next turn upgrade a tank that would not necessarily help us get the city maybe with the amount of units Spiff has in the area so next turn we track his units so they don't potentially storm our city but most of them seem to be moving away bunch of wing hussars this is the most annoying stack because it has mp here we need to get these guys away But I am also willing 
If I move this here. That does not look good for our wall. Okay. Move these guys along the coast. These are a bunch of spies. These are a bunch of MP. I don't think we can hit. Okay. Causes those guys to retreat. Should cause these guys to retreat also. <clears throat> okay. We have already... We've already beaten Spiff in terms of war support. So... Uh, you, it is 35, including 60% loss from war weariness. So I think that is decent. We have researchers, so we, so a hospital could be useful. Sewage treatment plant also useful. Speaking of, did we build one of those in Memphis or is it on the list? So we need to keep Memphis's stability high. Okay, so we are holding down this area. In terms of over here, okay, this is actually fairly close in terms of numbers. Oh, that does not include these guys. Okay, this looks like a decent fighting position. We get these guys in an area they can bombard as much as possible. Maybe see if we can push a wing Tazar out of the fight. Oh, this is steam frigates, torpedo boats. So as long as we stay away from the coast, a lot of these units don't actually affect this fight. Okay, the wing Tazar is out of the war zone makes this a much more overwhelming assault. Uh, maintaining the siege doesn't really do anything. It eliminates a few conscripts, but that's going to take way too long. Manual battle, get our siege artillery in the back on high ground. Uh, these guys do have indirect fire, correct? Hmm. Not necessarily. So I don't want to put them too far behind the mountain. Okay, I don't expect Spiff to actually come out after us. So these guys should be fairly safe in the back. I'll move you there. If you need to be moved to hit, so be it. Helicopters can fly over the walls so i don't need them in front necessarily and i want all my gunner units to have a position that they can potentially quickly hop on quickly hop over the walls cool 
50 units are a bunch of conscripts, one partisan, and horses. With a bunch of ships as reinforcement. But let's take a look at these. Yeah, these guys have no issues. So we want to... Their conscripts are 66 combat strength. His partisan is 76. So we want to focus on getting that guy out of the fight. Can you move here? This is feeling very one-sided. Okay, that is all the... He has these guys up here, but they're too far to be an issue at this, at this present moment. But that, that takes care of all his units on the front line. You still have an attack. You still have an attack. You can get behind the walls. And you can get behind the walls, although more. It's more so for defense. Okay, he has torpedo vessels, but I don't think torpedo vessels can land on ground, can attack on ground. That eliminates those guys. Our helicopter can move to here and take a shot. You can move to here. Kind of six or one half does another the other. Okay. Other helicopter. Just trying to get these guys in together for the additional combat strength okay everything else is kind of out of range of our artillery 
so I don't mind moving a couple of these guys you can't move you are too far you are too far behind okay this should be decent Yeah, the guys with less promotions. Okay, and these guy, that guy is out of line of sight. And the round hopefully gets closer. It did not. Uh, the helicopter can't get closer to it because of line of sight and because this is a completely different territory it is it is pretty much bullying at this point because he either moves closer, gets destroyed, or stay where he is and we just go after him and destroy him. Move two more guys closer, even though they aren't going to be of much help this round. Okay, he's avoiding us, so that is th this turn done. He can reinforce with some units next turn, but that would just make things easier for us. Okay, I don't recall what I was doing with you guys, or you may have just been healing up after taking this city. But I want you to go somewhere over here and settle an outpost. Athens, work on the geosync, saves three turns on it. Uh, Liverpool and Athens has a, have a lot of units. There are planes in the south providing additional support if need be so i'm not worried but about spiff taking it the continent others will be after your boot designs and blister medicines don't think it's over yet what about the seabed and the stars okay we have quite a bit of fame from that still in third place but significantly closer to third significantly closer to third than we were before spiff is offering surrender have we met i simply there's just no way to make this work i do not accept okay a fitting restage part two um i believe i believe the text remains the same so I don't have to necessarily, I don't plan on necessarily rereading the fitting restages. But. Do we want, I guess 10%, 10% influence on the empire. We may get gold for the next one. Speaking of, I want to upgrade one of these tanks, say upgrade maybe the other one on the following turn. Oh, 
Oh, the battleground extended all the way down here. Did not notice. Uh, you. Okay, one more city captured. I inadvertently used up more movement speed on these guys than I would have liked. So these guys will head, head south. We should, keyword, be able to clear out a lot of these guys. Like half, if these guys don't exit the territory, these partisans are going to be eliminated next turn. Wait, yes, I think. I don't remember if partisans no partisans aren't spy units this MP army is honestly their spiff's most threatening thing and we won't need this entire army to head to the north okay, these guys were doing a bit of pillaging or where they were they may have been poaching i don't recall but they got a bit of gold we need twelve thousand twelve hundred yeah twelve thousand for our next outpost and we want to pick up at least two more even though these aren't necessarily resource rich but okay J just checking we do have salted beef so next turn next turn matter of fact you guys do i want to next turn you do i want to move you somewhere useful you know what you guys can head that way potentially assist with the fight and that allows me to move uh maybe these guys to the south london is done there's the mars colony uh mars colony is a necessary part of the space victory the polar satellite, if I remember, is not. But it helps reveal the map, gives us a bit of fame. This also gives fame. But. London is missing a bit of industry. So a sawmill. You are doing decent on food. So a feast wouldn't be necessary. What you are not doing decent on is stability. Because war weariness has hit 200%. Okay. Uh, we need to quickly end things with Spiff. Because even the capital is starting to feel it. But everyone is currently on high standing. So we work on work on the polar satellite. We should keyword be able to take at least one city in the next two turns. I want Spiff to try and move, so we can track his movement. You'll have to forgive me, but have we met? I simply can't recall. Uh, we have ninety, so we get about thirty war support for each captured city. And slider, thank you. 
we are getting there. Okay, you moved. Seems like you moved. We should take tanks. Okay. Tanks should cover decent, decent ground. Helicopters should also cover decent ground. You know, I'll move you into the water in case that matters. The unit's heading this way. Uh, yes, you have siege artillery. Is that... Do we need more? Fine. Take these guys with you. Yep. Oh, stay, stay on the land. I don't think that they ought. I don't think the order stayed. But can get you guys. You guys. And you guys down here in one turn. We don't have much in terms of siege artillery, and I forgot to upgrade this medium tank, but we should have more than enough to actually push territory. So, we begin with this next time. With that, I've been RTG. You have been you. Peace, love, tranquility to all of you. And I will see you on Wednesday.